Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the third episode of A Guide to Poor Parenting, a podcast for me, Jason, and my best friend, Jeffra. Have a few drinks and, and talk shit. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> well, how's it supposed to go? Was that? Okay, let's try that again. Uh, a podcast with me, Jason, and my best friend, Jennifer, have a few cocktails and talk shit about our kids. There we go. We will eventually get this. I promise. Maybe. But, one eh, day. Who cares? <laughs> this is only our third episode. So if we're messing things up, it's to be expected. Right. I'm, as far as I'm concerned. All righty. So we, Miss Jennifer and I, uh, when we started this podcast, we wanted to talk to other parents about um, how awful their children are. And I know of only one woman who knows how awful my husband is, mm-hmm. and that is my delightful and wonderful country as a biscuit, Sandra. Miss Sandra, say yeah. hello. Hello. <laughs> and I've got to tell you right off the bat, my son was not bad. <laughs> I can attest to that. I think this is all lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've heard stories that he was a very obedient child. Like to the point where Miss Andrew would tell him to go um, do something, and had that been me growing up, I would like, no, mom, I'm not doing it. But he did it. Yeah. Yes. So, Sandra, you raised a good one. I know. I know. <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I raised two good ones, but totally different. Yeah. No, totally, your children totally different. are very different. But both really sweet and wonderful. Just not to each other. Well, that's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're better now, but back when we were kids, uh-uh. We fought all the time. <laughs> well, you know, when they were growing up, they fought and against each other, no matter what it was. And I, I had hoped, I thought, well, let's get, let's get through this. And when they become adults, they'll like each other better. I'm still waiting on that. <laughs> still they do waiting. like each other. They they do tolerate each other a little bit. We just rag on each other. It's and it's just it's a mutual back and forth. And Dad still to this day is like, why don't you get along together? <laughs> and it's like, no, this is how we react. And so it's we, no, we, we really do like each other. Well, let's back it up just a tad. Um, lies. Li- li- <laughs> lies. 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 All right, Miss Sandra, like I said in the intro, I, you are my delightful mother-in-law, and I could not have asked for a better one, so thank you so much for being such oh, a great thank mother. thank you. I love you, too. I love you, sweetie. Um, so, uh, let's talk about how we met. So, how you met me, and how you met Miss Jennifer. Well, now, you know, I'm a senior, so I have to think <laughs> back on that. In high school or in college? Uh, in age. <laughs> <laughs> in age. Um I met you through Zane. He brought you to my house. It was pretty soon. We hadn't been dating super long, I don't think. Had we? Mm, Maybe a a few months. Yeah. And and you came to the house, was correct? I I think so. I'm a little fuzzy on it too. My memories. Zane would probably Zane of all of us has Mm -hmm. the best memory. Yeah. Yeah, But I. It was was the old house in Arden. Yeah, and, and I was, you know, I was, of course I was nervous about meeting someone. For him to bring someone for me to meet was a big deal. And uh, so I, I just remember being nervous and then um, just not know, not knowing what to expect. Had he described him, me to him to you at all? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no, no, I just knew he was bringing someone, he, and he, that he really liked you, and um, so, you know. Did he tell you that he was bringing a man to the house? Oh, yeah. Okay. We, we, that would have been a huge surprise. Yeah, no, we, we, we had already, that, that had event had already taken place. I got gotcha. you, okay. In the car, while <laughs> I was driving. <laughs> no, we had lunch at Subway. And then we're going to, to to town to go get something, and I was like, "Mom, I gotta tell you something." And she looks at me and like, "Do I need to pull over?" Well, it was the way you said it. You you kept uh, <laughs> and then, like it was it was you were you know scared to tell me and all this stuff, and you were having trouble getting it out. Yeah. And I said, "Do you do I need to pull over?" And, and he's I was like, "Yep." Yep. So I remember the spot. In the road where, I, where I pulled over. 
and we had a long talk. Aww. And mom asked millions of questions. Of course. But yeah, but after that, it was just smooth sailing. It's one of the good coming out stories right, right there. Yeah. Well, he was a little too old to throw out of the house. Well, that's what well, he was already out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thrown him out of the house. Either. Well, I know, I know. But it does happen. It is very yeah. common for kids to get thrown out. Um, that, but that's all I was joking about. Um, so let's see. That was probably... So Zane and I started dating in 12. So it was probably like... in the, It was the first part of 12 when we started dating. So it was probably like towards the end of 12 when we met, I think. So it's been almost 10 years since yeah. we've known each other. Wow. No, almost nine, uh, nine years now. So, do you remember when we first met Miss Jennifer? It's probably it was, our house. It, I believe it was here. Um, Jennifer, I apologize. I, I, I just... I, no worries. We've I been around it. you. It's hard for me to remember exactly when I first met you. Yeah, I don't but remember But it was either. through these guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You know. I feel like I've known you forever, yep. so, you know, I can't remember when we <laughs> <Yeah>. met. <laughs> and we've all gone on, I think, I know, well, I mean, so, for, for our listening audience, uh, Zane and I and Jennifer go on vacations quite a bit together, and so do Zane and I and his mother. Well, uh, but I don't know, have all, have all four of us gone on a trip together? I don't think, not I don't yet. I think we have. Eventually. We have been planning on going places, yeah. but things have not worked out. Yeah. And we actually have an Ireland trip hopefully plan next year if, if your dear sister can make up her mind yep so so all right so we 10 years of friendship and this is a, how how has it been having me as, as a son-in-law well it's been wonderful i you know I, as i you know said at your wedding at y'all's wedding that um i'm grateful for you for loving my son oh. and my son being happy and that you know, all mothers that I know of want their children out of everything in life. They want them to be happy. Yeah. And you know, so I, I'm, I'm great. I'm good. Yeah, that. I've just been a delight having you as a mother-in-law because I, I'm my family's all in Texas, and so having, um, having a mother figure in my life has always been important, and so. And I always tease Zane because he never calls you very much. And I feel like I call you more than he does. Yeah. <laughs> you call everyone more than That's anybody true. does. So. <laughs> That's very true. I'll start calling Debbie soon. <laughs> um, all right. Well, Miss Jennifer, you want to... Um, I think we, we've we been talking about how we know each other. Do you want to talk about what we're drinking today? Yes. We are drinking mimosas because we felt like since it was early in the morning that we couldn't drink some hard liquor. <laughs> Um, that we decided to do some champagne and orange juice. Yay. Yeah, we had to, we're, we are learning how uh, to pace ourselves. Uh, the very first couple episodes, we had some heavy pours of whiskey and then wine. And by the end of the second episode, uh, Mama Jason was feeling very good. Yes, Mama was. <laughs> <laughs> I was fine. It was you that... <laughs> See, we have to do my mosas because I can't do the heavy liquor because yeah. I become a crying drunk <laughs> so you know that, and that's not it's not pretty well it might be comical you know <laughs> for the, for the yeah. listeners <laughs> i'd love to see it oh. maybe, maybe no maybe no no Ireland. no yeah. you don't. there you go no you don't yeah, it's not pretty. they have free health care <laughs> All right, so every episode of A Guide to Poor Parenting, we want to talk about a topic to deal with parenting and how awful children are. Um, so this episode, we thought we would talk to Miss Sandra about sibling rivalries because Jennifer and I's children, Wesley, her delightful son, and my granddaughter, Kalia, are close in age. They're about... Wes is 10 at the moment, and Kalia is 7, and yep. they act like brother and sister. Very much so. You want to talk, give a, the listening audience an example, Jennifer, of what we're talking about? Well, it's just the, I don't like you, I like you, don't mess with that, you know, like Wesley is a protective of Kalia, and Kalia is protective of Wesley, but not when they're together. It's when other kids are around that they're like, you know, this is mine, and don't mess with them. Yeah. Um, but they fight and tattle so much on each other. It is the funniest thing. It's like, I'm not a tattletale. Well, you are. 
<laughs> yes. Like uh, case in point, we went to dinner the other day, and I always tell them when we leave, don't call us unless you know you got a broken bone, you're bleeding, or the house is on fire. And so Kalia calls, and it's to say I accidentally said shut up to Wesley, and I'm like. Girl, you scare us when you call us because we think it's one of the three things I tell you every single time we leave. And it's, I said, shut up. <laughs> That's clear. The colors, the colors should be red and blue. <laughs> red being somebody's bleeding. Right. Blue, somebody's not breathing. Yep. Well, and it, it's funny because uh, like when we leave them, it's always my son, Justin, Kalia's uncle, who's 21 years old and... I mean, he mostly ignores them, but he's, yeah. you know, a responsible adult. So it's never like, it's obviously never an emergency because if it was like, oh, Wesley fell on a knife. Right. Then, then go get Justin. That Cleo was holding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ran to that knife seven times. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we, we're getting a taste of sibling rivalry with our kids and just because they're around each other so much. But I know you are a particular expert because my dear husband and his sweet sister Shana... Uh, could not stand each other growing up. Oh, it was hell. What's the age difference between Zane and Shayna first? Four. A little over four years. Okay. Yeah. And Zane's, Zane's the older. Okay. Zane is the oldest, yeah. Okay. He looks it, so. You know. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, the shade of <laughs> He's a I can say it. He's in the room. He's yeah. listening to this. It's not like I'm talking about him behind his back. That's true. <laughs> this time. <laughs> Never. So how did when did the the antagonism begin between the two? Do All you right. remember? Well, let's go let's go back to when Shayna was born. Now Zane was four and a half, and uh, I was in the hospital with Shayna, and uh, uh, his dad went to get him at his grandmother's to bring him to the hospital to see Shayna. Didn't tell her, you know. Went to the the window to look at the babies. And he was supposed to pick out, you know, who he thought was his sister. And uh, he um, went to the window and, and uh, he picked her out automatically. Because, uh, and the reason he said it was because she was the prettiest baby in there. Aww. And I just thought, oh, this is going to be so wonderful. And then it was just downhill after and that. And then it was, you know, downhill, <laughs> fast pace. Um, you know, I think back, you know, when she was little, uh, we didn't cut her hair. Her hair was long and blonde and pretty. And every time someone came oh uh, came up to her, they'd go, uh, "Oh, you've got the prettiest hair. It hasn't been cut. It's so long. I mean, it touched her butt." Oh wow! And um, but they everybody made over her hair. Right. And uh, and I was going to let it grow out. As long as I could before I had to get it cut. And she was about three, between three and four. And um, uh, their dad and I had divorced at that time. And so they were at their dad's. And um, I get a call and, you know, Zane had cut her hair. (laughs) Just got the scissors and snipped her hair. You know, a big chunk out of it. But it wasn't like he attacked her. It oh, was no. like they were playing together, if I oh, remember no, the no. story correctly. Isn't it? Yeah, he oh, just... A little bit of jealousy, too. A little bit, a little bit <laughs> of jealousy. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I'm like, I don't want the, the viewing the viewing audience, the listening audience <laughs> to think he held her down oh, and no, attacked no. her. Oh, no, no. No. No, and, you know, it, it just, you know, just it started, it really started there because she was still too little to, you know, she still loved him. Yeah. You know, she didn't realize what a monster he was. No, oh, no. <laughs> but um, but he did get punished for that. Do you remember how he punished him? Uh, it was a uh, his dad, her, their dad, and I. Uh, since it happened it with him, uh, he had to punish him, and uh, yeah, it was the old southern ass whooping. <laughs> Picking the switch? Uh, no. no. His belt. I think it was the belt. Yeah. yeah. Dad was the belt, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh... Well, and were you were, uh, were you the spoon or the hand? Or I was the belt, too. I, I, I got the belt when I was growing up. Yeah. And that, you know, you, you know, you, you did what your parents did. Yeah. yeah. And you, most people do. And, yeah. um... You know, you know, my sister now, she had the, the dreaded spoon, wooden spoon. Oh, yeah. Mm. And we're talking about Miss Debbie? Yeah, Debbie. 
Yeah, and th- her daughter's, oh, she'd get that spoon out, and you'd think, you know, <laughs> she had a whip. They they behaved. Oh, yeah. I remember my grandmother, I don't know if your parents ever did this, but my grandmother would make us go pick a switch. Now, my mother and them made, uh, when, uh, you know, I got the belt. When they were, were with with their grandmother, my mother and dad, they had to go get the switch. And I would go, we didn't have. You know, we got the belt. We didn't have a choice. Yeah. What, did you get switched at all or spanked? Nope. 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 My mama whooped me one time. And I didn't know why she whooped me, but that was a hand and that was it. Now, I, I, let me back up on my, my parents. My dad spanked me one time with mm-hmm. his hand. Right. But that was, I deserved every bit of it. <laughs> me too. My mother was the one that was the discipline, yeah. disciplinarian in the family. And she didn't play around. When you and uh, Zane's father were still together, who was the disciplinarian between y'all? Or was it pretty evenly split? Split. I want to say me. Okay. And he may say him, but I want to say it was me. Zane, do you have an opinion? I got equal whoopings from both of them. <laughs> <laughs> equal amount of bruises. No, um, no, we didn't bruise. No, I know. No, we we just, we're just teasing. Like I said, we're all, this is comedy, yeah. we're trying to be funny. Like, we know you didn't hit your kids. Yeah. Keyword trying. Yeah, mm. trying to be funny. Um, but when did they start, like, so, you know, we didn't notice them with Kalia and Wesley. We've noticed a lot of jealousy, too. Mm. Like, they are super jealous. Like, if we, if Kalia gives me a hug, or Kalia gives Jennifer a hug, especially as Jennifer, Wesley just comes over and desperately wants a hug. Did y'all see that much with the, with Zane and Shana? I, I, you know, I really don't recall that. Uh, I'm sure there was, but I don't. It wasn't something I would remember. What did their rivalry? Was it mostly like Shana just trying to be up in Zane's business and him getting sick of it? Yeah, pretty much. Um, he, uh, uh, he uh, his room was his it was his. Domain. 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 Yeah. He had everything sitting exactly in a certain spot. All right. If he was gone and she would sneak in his room, he would know it when he got back. (laughs) Because something, some little something had been moved an inch, maybe, Mm -hmm. from where it was. And he would come out. You've been in my room. <laughs> and I'd go in there. and I mean, it would be something very small that had been maybe moved an inch. But she would do that just to aggravate him. <laughs> I would, too, if it was still that way. Uh, I would probably do the same thing right now. <laughs> but even I as mean, adults. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey. I, I will say Zane, even today, is probably still pretty territorial about his room. He doesn't even let... Uh, Kalia in our room very often. Like, we'll be just laying in there listening to a podcast or something, and Kalia will knock on the door. He's like, What do you want? And she's like, Can I come in? And because I know he'll say no, so I'm like, Yes, you can come in. Because <laughs> <laughs> she usually just wants to like lay between us and hang out. Yeah. Um, Cuddle. Yeah. So I'm like, Come on, Zane, stop being a hard ass. And <laughs> come it's my up. room. <laughs> so when, um, I was gonna ask what uh, what did it ever get violent with them? Like were they throwing punches? Yes. Oh, they, well, yeah, uh, not violent punches. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, just slapping or uh, wrestling. Re- P- a lot of pinching. Pinching, mm-hmm. yeah. So who pinched who? Well, see, I don't know. Oh. But I was there when it started. You know, if you ask them, she started it. He started it. You know, so. And then, and then I would get angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shane would try to kick me, and I'd uh, catch her leg in midair, and she'd hop on one leg for a while, <laughs> and then I'd make her fall on the ground. And yeah, <laughs> I was that brother. But y'all, like, I got the impression y'all, um, Zane and Shane, would like purposely try and irritate each other too. Oh yeah, they were purposely. Yeah. They yeah, them, you know. Were they the I'm not touching you kids? Yes. Yeah. One trip to Nashville. I just started dating this guy. 
and he had a truck, and we were going to Nashville to the Nashville flea market. Oh, Lord. So we're in the cab of the truck driving to Nashville. And the whole way up there, because they're, they're sitting beside of me, or, you know, in between. And he's looking at me. She touched me. The whole way up there. And the whole way up there, I'm going, oh, hell. We got to drive back with this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I was trying to make a good impression with this guy, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and he decided to bring the children along to do well, it. Well, it was his idea. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. it was his idea. Because I think he quickly changed his mind. Because <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> I know it will talk Needless about. Needless to say, that, that uh, relationship didn't last <laughs> too long. Because I know when, when you know, talking about like dating after, after a divorce, Jennifer's mother, after she divorced her dad, um, was single for a long time. Am I remembering that correct? Nope. No, it wasn't a long time? Mm-mm. Oh. No, she was... met Pops quick. Oh, did she? Okay. Yeah. But, she, well, but it was a while before she introduced Pops to you. Yes. She wanted to make sure that he was going to stay and that he was good before she introduced me. And then, coolest thing ever, I probably wouldn't even do this, um, she... We, we met a couple of times, and then she looked at me and said, do you like him? If you don't, he's gone. So I could have ended the relationship right then and there, but I like Pop. So I was like, okay, yeah, he's fine. And now they've been married forever, and I have a brother out of it. So. Yeah. But yeah, you know, because a lot of parents don't put their kids first. Yeah. But my mama did. My father didn't, but my mom did. Yeah. And I think that's just the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, the few times I've met them, uh, like twice I think I've only met them twice. They've been super sweet and loving. They are. But um, back to did you have any? I was trying to think of another question. I'm blanking. Did you have a question? Well, yeah. So Wesley and Kalia, they don't like each other. Like kind of like Zane and Shana did, but they do protect each other. Did they ever protect? Like if someone else, cousins or friends, came over that was kind of same ages and. Would they be like, that's my sister, leave her alone, or that's my brother, leave him alone? No. Do you remember any of that? No. No. <laughs> like, no, no. just kill her. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. They were on their own. I got you. <laughs> I will say, what cracks me up with um, Kalia and Wesley is that they will fight constantly and tattle and pick on each other, um, but they'll be like, can West can Kalia come out and play? Mm-hmm. Even though like he, a lot of times we'll come over and Jennifer will like tell Wesley to just go outside. You've been cooped up inside on on a screen too long, and uh, Wesley will come over to me. He's like, "Can you tell Kalia to come outside too?" I was like, "You don't even like her. You hate playing with her. Why do you?" I was like, "I will, but why do you? Why are you doing this?" So did they ever do that? Did they were they ever like seek each other's company out when they were growing up? Mm, no, 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 really. no. <laughs> no. Zane was in his world, mm-hmm. you know. Still am. You know, yeah, still is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Shana at first tried to, I think, and then she just saw it wasn't doing no good, so she just took the other you know, other route and just harassing him, <laughs> and you know, and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I remember. Um, we were on our way to school one day, and Shana was in the back seat, and Zane was in the front with me. And uh, she told Zane, you know, I love you, Zane. And he just looked at her. And she said, see, Mama, he doesn't tell me he loves me. And I looked at him, I said, tell your sister you love her. And this was his response. Uh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so heartfelt. Yes, you know, I can it just melt your heart. Yeah, it's like uh, a Hallmark card. <laughs> yeah, it's a Hallmark card. <laughs> um, so, you know, they were, they were just yeah. You know, they they had their roles, and like I said, it's two. They're two totally separate personalities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as a parent, you've got to realize every child is whatever child you have. One, two, three, whatever. Each one is their own individual and their own separate personality. Right. And you have to respect that. Yeah. Whereas, you know, Zane is more to himself. He's more of an introvert. 
And he's gotten better, a lot better than what he was. Um, and, but Shana was more of a in-your-face, yeah, you know, type. Shana reminds me a bit of Kalia. Like she's very outgoing, and I don't know if Shana was ever as sassy as Kalia is. But oh no! <laughs> no she, okay, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I only know Shana, adult Shana. I never met yeah. kid Shana. Uh, yeah, she yeah she was sassy, and um um. Uh, and so I, you know, I had to go from one extreme to the other, mm-hmm. whereas Zane was more comfortable, not a not a social person. He was he was content to be in, in his, his room. in his room and whatever. Shana was a was a social butterfly, um, more you know into things. Zane, <laughs> I had to make Zane get into things. Yeah, you know, and which you know. You know, I want. I was determined he was going to be involved in school because if you're involved in school, you have a reason to go to school. Yeah. And take part, you know. And so uh, we went through a couple of things that I made him do that he hated. Yeah. The, the band. Oh, yeah. That one, I've, I've definitely yeah. that story. I think my favorite one that it just kind of illustrates like the difference between Zane and I is that he told me about how um, you forced him to go to prom, I think it was. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And his um, senior prom. Yeah. And I, I really didn't want to go to mine either, but I had a friend who wanted to go. So I went, but my, my parents paid for it. Um, but I was always tickled when Zane told me the story. He's like, yeah, my mom forced me to go. Uh, and she made me pay for it. I I was like, you are such a well-behaved child. If my mother told me I had to pay for it, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> Especially when I was 17 or 18, yeah. I would have been like, no, you can't make yeah. me do this. So, But the fact that he did it, I was like, you were a very well-behaved yeah. child. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, I would imagine if you told Shana she had to do something and then pay for it, she would be like, no. We would, yeah, we'd still be fighting over it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you and your daughter are both very good grudge holders, too. Miss mm-hmm. <laughs> Jennifer, do you have any questions about sibling rivalry, Mathandra? Well, I know um, that story time's coming up here in a little bit, um, and that Shana has two kids of her own, um, but I don't remember how old Tripp and Sullivan are. Sullivan's 12 now, isn't she? Sullivan's 12, and, and, and Tripp is 8. And 8. eight. Yeah. So they have a four-year difference, just like mm-hmm. Shana and Zane had a four-year difference. Mm-hmm. So how are they, when you have them, on the civil rivalry? Do they have one like them or not? No, Sullivan is the... the she looks out for Tripp. Yeah, she's a caretaker. She's, she's, a, she's a caretaker. Uh, and... Uh, you know, they're like most children. Uh, they're you know have a little bit, a little the yang yang and back and forth. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, they really, you know, right now, you know, they still play together mm-hmm. and uh, get along really well. Get along, yeah. And and you know, the, their personalities are different too, but they're a little bit more comparable than. Uh, Complete opposites, like and then complete and opposites, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they're, they're both they're both pretty sociable kids too. Yeah. Where yeah. I, I think a lot of the problem for Zane is he just was introverted and in his own little world. Yeah. And so that was probably challenging putting up with a super sociable child like Shana. If she's because it sounds like she's a lot like Kalia when she was that age, right? So. And if you're hearing that in the background, my sweet husband is pouring is the remainder of the mimosas. So <laughs> hopefully, we won't be completely drunk by the time we're done with this podcast. Well, it's for me, so no, I will not be drunk. Well, yeah, you don't get drunk. <laughs> I've got a couple of hours to my improv class. So I'll be. <laughs> we might have to drive you to that. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. Um, let's see. Uh, how do, so? I, when Jennifer and I are dealing with Kalia and Wesley's rivalry usually it's just a whole bunch of like stop tattling on each other we don't care um because that god they just will tattle on each other i was like i don't care i was like unless he stabbed you in the face just leave me alone i was like stop being rude yeah um because it you know it, i don't know i with jennifer i felt or we, i don't know about jennifer but i have found when i'm dealing with it it's like 
y'all just figure this out. Y'all have to be around each other. Y'all have to learn to play together. I don't want to have to settle every argument you have. Um, I probably should be a bit more involved, but at the same time, it's like, it's always stupid things. And I'm like, no matter how much harping on it, they do. It doesn't ever seem to make any difference. So I'm just like, y'all, if you don't want to be around each other, don't be around each other. Right. Or just be outside. Yeah. Um, do you, is that how you feel about it now, Jay? Yeah, or? and they don't listen to us anyway. So even if we were to try to intervene and say, this is what you should do, they're not going to listen. Yeah. I think the best thing for us to do is what we've been doing. and Just but y'all figure it out amongst yourselves because y'all aren't going to listen to us for one. And she ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Um, I'm not, not going to come over here anymore. So yeah, this is what we do every weekend. Me and Wesley are over here, so he just got to figure it out. So how did how did y'all handle it, or how did you handle it? How did I handle? It? Yeah, like Them the constant fighting, separation, just separation. Okay, separation. Yeah, I think if we if Lee and Wesley lived together, it would work better. But like half the time, we're just trying to get them out of the house and go do something instead yeah. of being in front of a screen. Yeah. So, you know, Zane liked to do one thing. Shayna liked to do something else. So it wouldn't be a matter of them coming together and doing something because their interests were totally different. Right. Uh, but if it, you know, got to the, you know, the fussing and the fighting and the screaming and the hollering, you know, separation. Um, you were know, they big tattlers on each other? Somewhat, somewhat. Uh, but they, they, they kept a lot to themselves. I, I, I'm sure there's a lot I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, uh, but um, so they, they 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 had to take care of themselves pretty much. Okay. So it was that only the the their kind of fighting only came in when it was forced interaction. It sounds like when they were forced to be in the same space together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just like they, they couldn't, you know, breathe the same air. I mean, it just, <laughs> <laughs> they 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 just you know hated it just hated it <laughs> and um and and i've you know realized that there's nothing i can do yeah you know to to change that and like i said just hope that when they got older you know they would develop a a, a bond maybe yeah and it seems like they have like they're uh zane is 44 now about to be 45 and shana is 40 or 30 she just turned 40 she just turned 40 um but they still like I've only known them as they've gotten along. They just seem like my brother and I do not have a close relationship, but like Shana and Zane do. They call each other, not like regularly, yeah. but they call each other. And they... I think they've developed a kind of a res- respect yeah. for each other. You know, that, you know, hey, we grew up together, you know, all this. We have similar uh, uh, history. history and uh, things like that. We're both deciding which nursing home to send you to. I know. Shady Pines. I've heard that. Shady, Shady Pines is in your future, Mom. There you go. That's where I'm going to put my mama. Um, <laughs> I get her signing up with the money. Um, <laughs> when did it start? Like, did it get better once they moved, when Zane moved out? Uh, it got somewhat better when he uh, went off to college. Oh, okay. You know, uh, and then... Uh, because they had that space and they and time between, yeah, and uh, so they maybe appreciated when they the time they had together more. Yeah. That makes sense. You know that that's that's just the uh, Doctor Sanders thinking on this. <laughs> well, while I was away in college, tell them about what you and Shana did while I was away. Let's save that one for a uh, okay. story time because we still got know. a few more. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what a do good. You mean? What? Uh, well, oh, no, let's don't talk oh, about that. Oh, come on, that's a good story. <laughs> I have to hear this story now. There's some miming going on. i got to figure out what this is about. Um, I can't think of anything else. Like, I don't know. I can tell you the time that Zane really, really hurt my feelings. Oh. Um, let's save that one for story okay. time. We'll really? There. Yeah, since he's here. Um, make him guilt trip he probably don't, he, guilt he, probably, trip. he, he yeah. probably don't remember it. <laughs> So I guess since you are a grandmother of four grandchildren, I have two great grandchildren now. Mm-hmm. Uh, what has it been like being a grandmother? 
Oh, really? Uh, it's, I don't know, no stress. You get to give them back. I get to give them back. Yeah, I get to have, you know, they get to come. I get to do things with them or I go and do things with them. Um, And then there's just, to me, there's no stress. I had a lot of stress when when Zane and Shana were growing up. Yeah. But it's, you know, the situation. Um, Trying to keep them alive and not murder them at the same time. Yeah, and and trying to survive. Yeah. Well, as a single mother, too, yeah, yeah, you were... Uh, kudos to Jennifer and Miss Andrea for being single mothers and rocking it. You both did. You were doing a great job, and you did an incredible job. So, kudos to both of you. Well, thank you. But I have my village, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without my village, Jason, Zane, everybody else, because it's rough. Yeah. And and I mean, I'm sure you got to breathe when they went to um, Freddy's to dad's house and you're like, Oh, thank Jesus. But then you probably were worrying because it sounds like the bad trouble they had was at his house cutting up the hair and all that stuff happened at, at the dad's house. (laughs) I thought, you know, it's just, you know, things happen wherever you are, you know, so you just, you go with it. Yeah. Go with it. Well, as, um, I, I, I said, that's just one thing. That you learn, you just got to, you can't fix everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I, Lord, I tried and, uh, to fix everything and, and you, you can't. So Jennifer and I always have this kind of joking, um, we kind of joke each other uh, about uh, how strict she is and how lax she thinks I am. Um, how, do, how strict did you feel you were as a mother? There are certain things I <clears throat> expected, right? You know, uh, most of it being behavior. Uh, you know, I was raised where you. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Um, uh, you don't argue uh, with your parents. You don't talk show, back. Don't talk, don't talk back, and don't you dare roll them eyes. <laughs> no uh, sass. <laughs> Job. But I mean, how you know, did, how did Shane survive? <laughs> well, by the skin of her teeth, and and I and I was on drugs. At- <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Whitney. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby Brown. <laughs> Love you, Bobby. <laughs> oh, oh Lord. But uh, you know, it was. I, I forgot. I lost my train of thought here. Well, I will say, even though I pick on him a lot, you did a really good job raising Zane. Well, yeah. He's one of my best friends. Aww. And I like Shayna, too. Yeah. I mean, I've only met her a handful of times, but anytime I've met her, it's like, she's just so personable. Yeah. And just very friendly and just, well, just start talking to you and you just feel very invited. Like, anytime we've had any type of um, lunches at your house, um, like the the shrimp bowls and Thanksgiving meals or whatever it is, I always feel very at home, like family. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I know I'm, I'm like, like and well, I want you to feel that way. Yeah, but I really do. Be. It's very nice. And it's been one of the nicest things about having you as a mother-in-law. You just welcome everybody in. And I try to emulate that about you. And the, the most favorite women in my life are, tend to be like that. Just yeah. welcome everybody in and you just got to love everybody and, so you are an inspiration to me, ma'am. You got any advice for us young bloods as we're going into our third year of parenting? Don't sweat the small stuff. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, Jennifer. I like that one. <laughs> I still will, but you know, it's a good one. Yeah. Choo- choo- choose your battle. Mm. Yeah. That's I'm what, trying. Yeah. Especially if you have a um, child that's, I don't know. Rambunctious? Rambunctious, I guess. Yeah. You know, choose your battle. You, you know, you, you're not going to win the war, but choose your battle. Just yeah. win the battle. Yeah. I've, I've learned that a bit with Kalia. It's like, do we react to everything she does? Or it's just like, okay, where do I want to, what hill do I want to die on? Right. Because otherwise right. you're going to be fighting every damn battle. Yep. So. And I, try, I, tried to, I tried to win every battle, you know, just every little battle. Well, you can't. You, yeah. can, you just got to pick which one means the most to you, you know, uh, what's more important to you. Right. When did you feel like that that lesson sank in for you, though? 
Because mm. I would imagine the battles don't really get heated till like early like tweens. The tween, tween, the the junior high, high school years were probably the worst. Yeah. Uh, you know, with constant disagreements and head butting and and I'm kind of a. a just a little bit headstrong. What? Just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Sandra. And um, in Southern talk, that means a lot headstrong. Yeah. <laughs> She's a seven-year-old goat. <laughs> I'm a batch. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, it's just you know, those to me those were the hardest times. Yeah. Those were the hard. I remember for. God, my memory, like I got dad brain so bad, but I've always had a bad memory, but I always remember junior high because it's just, it sucks for the kids and yeah. for yourself. And, and I know junior high and high school was, was hard for Zane. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, I, a, a lot harder than I realized because I, I was tied up with doing my, my job at the school and, and, um, you know, everything and, um, and that's that's one thing that you know I think back and I mean, it makes me sad because it was it was so hard for him. Yeah. And um, well, I don't but, think I th- you know I think not to like el- to alleviate some of your guilt. I think no parent ever knows what their kids go through, yeah. and the kids can't ever really know what parents go through until they become parents themselves. Yeah. So yeah, I was someone told me one time. Either someone told me or I read it somewhere that. Uh, Whatever you did to your parents as a kid, they your kids will do to you as a, when you become parents. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was an angel, so Wesley should be an angel, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Do we have any other questions before we move on to our next segment? Snack time. Snack time. Jennifer, you want to tell about what snack we're having? Oh, today? we are having yummy strawberries to go with our mimosas because we ate a very healthy brunch this morning. Yes, so we did. We needed something light and yummy. Mm-hmm. So, it's yay for all, strawberries. To go with all the Prosecco we're drinking. Yes. <laughs> the dash of uh, orange juice. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So, this is, uh, so we've just had snack time. So, the fun segment of our. The fun, oof, good lord. Now alcohol's hit me hard. So the last segment of our uh, episode, we always do a story time. We've had our drinks. We've had our snack time. Now we're going to have story time. Miss Andrew, you've actually told both the stories that you were. we had talked about you oh, telling. Um, okay. Could you tell the story about you and Shana? Well, you know. <laughs> well, she's not here if you don't feel comfortable. Just, well, no, I, I feel fine. You know, she probably has an, a different outlook on it. Um, we were... Now, set the stage. How old was Shana? I was driving, so she she was probably about 15, okay. 14, 15, maybe somewhere in there. Oh, this may be a different story than I was thinking. Oh, well, let's see. Which one were you talking about? Well, you tell you this, and we'll, I'll, we'll, uh, we'll rehash it after you're done. Go ahead. Okay, um, well, if this is not the story, you can cut this out. <laughs> um, what does it add more stories? Right. Is this the one you're talking about where she smarted off to me? I mean, that's a constant thing I mean, for Shana, is. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, go ahead and tell it. Go ahead and tell it. Yeah. Well, she, she had, um, she'd gotten to where she would well, talk back to me, have something smart to say. I mean, she hated me. I knew that. And, but I thought she'll get over it. Um, but, but it was a constant and I, and I go back, you know, we were raised, you know, you don't disrespect your parents. You don't talk back. Well, I just had not been real strict on correcting her on it. And, and I told her she, she'd gotten real bad about talking back to me. And I told her, I said, uh, don't talk back to me again. And once I say that, that's. You, you better not. She got the mama look. And so we got out of the car, and uh, we were going through the yard, you know, off the sidewalk into the yard, going into the house, and she smarted off to me. You remember what she said? I have no idea. <laughs> she remembers the reaction to it. She just and, remember being pissed. That's yeah. all you remember. And the next thing I knew 
We were on the ground. <laughs> Did you tackle her? Yes. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have been there to see that. And we had our little neighborhood. You know, the house is close by. And I mean, I, I mean, we we're on the ground. And, um, you know, you, one thing that keeps going back through my head, my mother always said, you don't fight. Girls don't fight. <laughs> And, then, and then, there I am, a grown ass woman on the ground with my daughter. <laughs> and and Shayna is going, The neighbors will see, the neighbors are going to see this. <laughs> and and I, I told her, I said, I don't give a shit. <laughs> You're not going to talk back to me again. Did you just pin her or were you slapping her? No, I didn't slap. Oh, I just okay. had her down on the ground. <laughs> I, I didn't slap. Did she learn her lesson? Why, no. Okay, well. <laughs> I but that, that stopped it for a while, you know. <laughs> and it's probably more the embarrassment of the neighbors seeing it than your actual, yeah. like, reaction to it. It's yeah. probably why it stopped for a minute. Yeah, was, just threaten her. I'll put you in front of the neighbors again. <laughs> but, I mean, it was just like, before I knew it, we were on the ground. And I don't know. Just saw that red. I saw, I mean, it's, yeah. my mind went, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And like I said, she's probably got a different variation of the story, but that's what I remember. Well, hopefully we'll get Miss Shane on for season two. Um, yeah. I think we've already got season one planned out, but uh, we'll see if we can get her on. Because I, w- I would love to hear her sp- perspective on uh, her brother and uh, her memories of being tackled by Mama. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, uh, you know. Yeah, that, is- that has happened to me a couple of times with where it just... Before I knew it, something had happened. Oh, what was the well, other time? Yeah, I want to hear about the other time. Oh, no, no, that's, but that's, that's, it, it didn't deal with children. I mean, oh, with, with, with oh. y'all, it dealt with something else. I was oh. somewhere else. Oh, okay. So just in life. In life. Oh, where well, you just saw that uh, red and you just kind of woke was, up and you're like, just oh, like, what you the know. hell just happened? <laughs> All right, yeah. well, after the podcast, we're done recording. I want that next story. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, you said uh, you had a story about me making you cry, or oh, no? You didn't make me cry. You hurt her feelings. feelings. Oh no, this was another time it kind of happened before I realized it too. We uh, after we divorced, uh, their dad and I divorced. I lived in an apartment, right? And so it was uh, the school was out in the country, and this is in the little town where we were living, right? And so uh, every day, you know. Before we'd leave, you know, get your, get your bags, make sure you got your books, make sure you got what you need, and then go to the car. Right. Because I had to be at school at a certain time. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna, for our listening audience, uh, Sandra spent 25, 30 years as a teacher. How long were you a teacher Well, for? I, at, what, at my first school, it was 25. But as a total, a total your careers. I, t- total, it's been uh, 36. Six years. 36, wow. Yeah. 36 years. And it were, you were PE or and cheerleading PE. coach, right? Yeah, PE and health. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you were actually a teacher at Zane's and Shane's school. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you were getting the kids ready for school. I and mean, it's like an everyday thing, you know, yep. every morning. Make sure you got this. Make sure you got that. Because several times we'd get up the road and we'd have to turn around and come back. I think Jennifer's got a few of those stories too, where uh, unless they forgot something. <laughs> And that would, you know, something. that would make us later get into school than what we intended. And um, and I told him, I said, we're not, I said, if you leave it, we're not coming back. We can't come back. So we get up the road and Zane goes, I forgot so-and-so. And I said, I told you, we're not going back. And he goes, huh. Some mother you are. Oh, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I've never, I've never slapped my kids, but I was driving. Not slap you, not slap you in the face. I spanked you, but before I knew it, the back hand went across and popped him. And I felt so bad that I had slapped him. So we turned around, and went back, and got it. <laughs> But that, I mean, that, I'm, 
It just hurt. I mean, it hurt my feelings so bad. Huh? Some mother you are. Oh, oh, that oh, is oh, hurt. I could see the funny thing is I could see Kalia doing some oh, yes. shit like that. Oh yes. So and Wesley. Really, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. he's already said he didn't want me to adopt him many times. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, surprisingly, I don't remember that. I remember the other time you slapped me. Oh, I slapped you again for you. <laughs> <laughs> this was. It's about to be in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. Well, it's uh, this was around the time you taught me and Shayna the um, the name game. Oh. oh no, Zane, Zane, Bobane, Banana, Fana, Fofane, Fee, Fi, Momane, Zane. You know, she taught us that, and of course, us being kids, we did it not. The name game is right. Or the name game, yes. I think I remember the story. Yeah. And we like Shane and I are just doing it constantly. We're picking different things. To, to do the to, to do the song with and one day we're in the car and I'm like oh, okay let's do truck <clears throat> truck truck bobuck banana fana fofa and as soon as I said it she looked at me like uh, <laughs> <laughs> backhand across the face <laughs> and, and she's like and then like the next day dad comes over to the house and we have a sit down saying like I apologize for what I did, but don't ever do that. Don't do truck. Don't do buck. Don't do duck. Yeah. And don't do witch. <laughs> <laughs> I, that is, I, I will, God, I'm still cracking over my you slapping him. Um, That's like a knee jerk reaction yeah, though. Yeah. You just hear your child saying fuck and you're like, oh, and then you just mm-hmm. don't say that. <laughs> Well, it, it, not this podcast or not this episode, but I can't wait for you to tell the uh, him scaring you story. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that'll be a fun one. <laughs> Stay tuned for that yes. story. Um, oh man, I had some good, excellent point. Now I can't think of it. Eh, yeah, well, whatever. Um, so, Miss Sander, what did you think about your first podcast starring episode? Well, it's. I wish I could remember. <laughs> things a little bit clearer, you know. It's Give me, uh, I need to get some Prevagen, <laughs> take some Prevagen to get my uh, clear up my mind. Uh, but it's, it's okay, yeah. We're just trying to have a good old time, have a little yeah. conversation about parenting, trying to relive some of our stories. Although, we're the rate we're going through them, we're gonna not <laughs> having them. Although, we have kind of mischievous children, so very much so, yeah, we'll plenty. Well, Ms. Sandra, thank you so much for joining us. This yes. has been the third episode of A Guide to Poor Parents. And Jennifer, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Ms. Sandra, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. All right, bye, y'all. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>